Hello everybody, welcome to Era BB. We've got Chavite with a wizard and a bribe up against that there Phil with a bribe. Oh, it's a bribe stadium. It's Chavite Stadium with a bribe stadium. So Chavite with a wizard up against that there Phil. And uh, Chavite looks like he's got a better team and a wizard. <laughs> because uh, Chavite's team is very TV efficient. He's got two full tackle pommers. He's got uh, nice Tomb Guardians. And that there, Phil, this Nurgle team does not have Claw. For some reason, he's taken Mighty Blow on his key players, which is, you know... Come on, man, you can't take, you can't take Block and Tackle. This guy could have been Claw Pom. He literally could have been Claw Pom, right? And if he was Clop, I mean, he'd be on 50, so he'd have block as well. And, uh... You know, it, it is what it is, right? At the end of the day, versus some teams, obviously the Tackle Mighty, like, you know, versus myself and Elyod and King Boo. Mighty Blow Tackle, pretty good. But versus most people, Clop on better. And, uh... He's got some guard. It's a solid team. It's a solid team, but it's a bit like it, it's a bit like an orc team, isn't it? Really, it's a bit like an orc team, except <laughs> armor eight and a bit faster and uh, less skills than orcs would have. So yeah. Oh wow, he's got a. Uh, he's got a. He didn't just have a wizard. He must have had a miss next game tomb guardian. So has paid for a mercenary. God, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think one shouldn't have. I mean, I think you should build one Pestigore or Beastman on Chaos. In this rule set, I think one you have to go Mighty Blow, Claw, Piling on. I just think you have to. I think it's too powerful. You know, the statistics. It's just, it's just too powerful. So I think you need a claw pommer. And it, it, the teams that you tend to struggle with is like, you know, dwarves, orcs, etc. And then claw pom gives you an angle. A very good angle. <laughs> and without that, you've just got to, you know, try and beat them at their own game. Which isn't easy. You know, a weight of blocks, you can still do things. Obviously, Mighty Blow's still good. Like, it's not a terrible team at all, is it? It's just... It's just not a very... It's just not a very, uh... Clawful team. <laughs> like, it's not really... It's not particularly Bash Light, either, is it? Like, it's got four Mighty Blow. Ooh. It's got four Mighty Blow and two Dirty Players. So it, it's plenty bashy enough, uh, you know, if things kind of go well. But obviously the dirty players kind of need things to go well to use the dirty player. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what happens with bash, isn't it? At the end of the day, bash teams tend to need removals to win. Uh, and five Kaz in the first six games for Chavite <laughs> didn't help his cause very much. Every Bash team needs removals to win. As much as people may like act like they don't, they do. There are some kind of toxic elite people who, who act like you can win by solid positioning and stuff. But, you know, Bash teams have got to make removals. They have to. And Clawpom gives you the best. No, I won't Clopum give gives in you the best removals, until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. An absolute grade A removals is Clopum. Thank you very much, MC Cruel, staying fantastic for 13 glorious months. Over three diva princes. Oh yeah. When the the bash teams still need removals versus the bash teams, right? Hey, the, you need it's true. It's just true. I'm sorry. 
If you're the bash team and you don't remove the other bash team, and they but they remove you, then you're probably going to lose. I don't know about that, Hancock. Hello. Obviously, Hancock has played more Camry than me. What I don't like about Camry is the uh, the decay, right? I never played them because of decay, because I just think it's stupid. I think it's stupid that your team revolves around four, four god-tier players that just get killed easily because they get claw-pommed and then decayed, and it's just fucking stupid. So I've never wanted to play them ever because I just I just find it depressing. <laughs> the idea of playing them depresses me. Never mind the reality of playing them. <laughs> just the fucking idea of playing them is enough for me, quite frankly. <laughs> um, yep. <laughs> I guess he's gonna hit this beast man or pestigo. I mean, these are great Tomb Guardians, aren't they? Three block Tomb Guardians. Really nice. But yeah, really lucky that he hasn't got Clawpom on Phil's team because you know, if you get the Clawpom a Tomb Guardian. It, they're, they're, like, they're like mummies, aren't they? You know, it's, it's similar to mummies. Like, um, you know, Undead are obviously. Again, I wouldn't say dog shit when everyone gets beyond 1400 TV, but mummies have, are like similar to Tomb Guardians, right? In that Strength 5 is amazing early on. And obviously you might play for mummies as well. Here we go. But like the... And the Strength 5 is defensive at low TV as well because people can't get two dice blocks on you. But then once people get guard and stuff, then all of a sudden they can two dice your mummies. And then, you know, your mummies can't get defensive skills. Yes, you can technically get thick skull. And you can technically roll doubles for block and dodge. But not really. You can't really defend them. And they just get claw pumped and stuff. Like other teams get mighty blow. And dirty player. And wizards. And, and fat bribes. And piling on. And mighty blow. And it's... Yep. Anyway, there's a bolt. Uh, the bolt comes for Chivita here. No foul appearance. Obviously, Chivita didn't get the memo about foul appearance. <laughs> Wrestle doesn't come into play. The Mighty Blow does. Gets the removal. Oh, glorious MC crew. Congrats. Ooh! Le Double Skulls. I don't think Foul Appearance has, uh, has triggered once in this game. Funny that, isn't it? <laughs> Funny that when other people play against Nurgle. Wow, he's fouling with a pommer. He's got the bribe still, so he's, you know. It's not mental to foul with that guy. But, uh, it was sure a little bit dicey, wasn't it? Claw Mighty Blown Warriors. I'd go... Uh, yeah. That's, uh, I'd go Claw Pum on all four, to be honest, Steve. Oh, wow. Start two defensive and start two killy. Well, there you go. It goes in for the double skull there. Not a lot he could have done there, is there? He could have dodged... Um, away first, because I guess he's going to have to dodge anyway, right? If he powed him, he'd start to dodge off. So maybe you dodge off and then power and then dodge. But then where do you go? So obviously he hits 4, 5, 6, G5, G5. He was, he's in so much trouble there. But he just rolls a skull. Hello, Noalius. This is Blood Bowl 2, isn't it? I'm in the right category with the right title. <laughs> This isn't meant. This isn't advertised as Among Us, is it? <laughs> Among Us is only uh, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. We might not even do Sundays either in the future. Mostly Fridays and Saturdays. Sometimes Sundays. <laughs> I play on Xbox. 
Oh no! <laughs> ah, the problem is, Steve, no, no, no microphone, isn't it? If, if people aren't on mics, it's just too easy for people to talk to you and convince you. And like, you know, everybody reading chat is less likely than everybody hearing you. Do you know what I mean? So it's it's a lot worse. Also, it's a lot easier to hide as the killer if, if you're just typing as well. So then that makes you want to, you know, you don't give anything away, isn't it? It's a bit like, it's a bit like poker and that, you know, people who don't say anything just don't, uh, don't give anything away. So then because you can't get a read on them at all, you think, oh, we'll take no chances. Big dub skull there. Big dub skull. Huge. Maybe you shouldn't have even hit one of those things where you hit af where you think afterwards. Well, maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, maybe I just shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but uh, pretty rough. Glorious, glorious Among Us. <laughs> the Among Us guy. There might be a chance of a score here for Chivito. I don't know why he hasn't. Oh, he's three dicing. Okay. Three dice. Wait, but he's blocked his path. Well, he didn't pow, so I guess his path was blocked anyway by not powing. Yeah. So do you move this guy up to, like, here? Could he have gone there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Could he have gone there? Maybe he needed a GFI. I guess he's two away, so it doesn't matter which direction he's two away. But... Could have fouled there, right? Two assist foul. It's the power. Is he going to run up? He's not running up. No canoring threat for that there, Phil. Gets a safety. Oh, what? Okay. Well, I think maybe the play was to dodge here and try and pick up the ball. If you're trying to win, right? And that's shit. Five plus against tackle. And five plus with sure hands. But leaving it on the ground just lets him uh, pick it up and cage it. Which ain't what you want. Completes the only scoring threat. Pushes him down there. Getting further away from his end zone. Hello, Pedro. Which wasn't really necessary, was it, with a pow? But if it had been a push, that's why I wanted to blitz from that angle in case it's a push. And there we go. It gets the double GFI. He's in range. Might as well re-roll this. So there's nothing to do for, for Phil but dodge in and uphill, isn't there? I guess he can, uh, no, he can't, he's got nothing left. Dodge in uphill. Dodge in would have worked just quietly. No, it wouldn't, would it? It was, six, it was a six plus dodge in. I'm so used to, I'm so used to, uh, L's. That was a five plus dodge in. But even then, like a six plus dodge in, you're like 30%. And then uphill, get the push for the surf. I think that was the play because you know this doesn't do enough basically. Like even this working as well as it can do breaks the AV and doesn't remove because obviously if he removes him, then the air tomb guardian gets to blitz directly forward. If he doesn't break AV, then it's a three dice. 
So like it was really low ch chances of this being really anything. As it is, it's you know it's only a two D, so we might not have one. But I think it was much better to. Uh... Ah yeah, and obviously splits with him, so then it adds a GFI if, it, if it's a push. So Chavite does all of the correct things. And ends the half 1 0 up. After that, there, fills drive. There you go. Wizard. Wizard used expertly. I don't think I would have used it then. But I guess he's got a better feel for uh, Kemri and uh, <laughs> how they work and how they can take advantage of a wizard. Out there, Phil still with his uh, first 11 on the field. And uh, Chavite is down a guard. Yeah, this is a bit of a, a bit of toothless aggression from this Camry, isn't it? I mean, it's not terrible, right? Four mighty bow isn't terrible, but um, it's certainly not super rowdy. It looks like he doesn't go to dead, dead, dead university. <laughs> I like it solid, isn't it? It's a solid team, it's just not that rowdy. So you can't really expect a bunch of removals, and if you don't get a bunch of removals versus Camry, you're in trouble. That's what makes Kemri not so good at high TV, isn't it? Is there, is there a team going to get There we go, two removals. Foul. Double one pick up. Ah, yes, I'm. I know those dice well. <laughs> That's cars. Mighty blowless as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess he should have blitzed with this guy, right? Might get the mighty blow hit and then withdraw afterwards. Oh no, he's coming through to put pressure on this guy. Okay. Oh, because of the failed pickup. Fair enough, I guess. He's 1 0 down. Like he has got the movement speed advantage versus Kenny. So try to push what he's got, but now Chavite can pull back with quite a lot, blitz this guy probably blitz this guy see what happens, and if it's bad then you can pull back doesn't look like he's given any thought of pulling back here, he's piling in the uh, Tomb Guardians a bloodless dodge <laughs> <laughs> There you go, blockless dodge. Mighty blow gets the removal. <laughs> yeah, that was... French kiss. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All of the best sound effects are not me. <laughs>
<laughs> well, that removal's pretty good, isn't it? So now, a bunch of players out for the Nergs. On the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Gets him. You're like the uh, you're like the Gazer of football, Dimmy, just without the talent. <laughs> Unfortunately, that there Phil has nothing to support it, does he? Because he's got three players KO this drive. With three more players, he could put in a little screen. Or even with two more players. Even one player would help quite a lot. But yep, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, three players down. Is, uh, it's pretty tricky. But this still isn't good for uh, Javita, is it? I'll spray paint your ass. <laughs> That's not you. <laughs> That's fucking Colin Farrell, isn't it? Colin Farrell in uh, is the penguin. What a fucking line. But then Fuck I don't know why it was Batman. <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy's a classic, isn't it? Yeah, be responsible. The crabs I gave my flatmates were the best crabs you could <laughs> ever get, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was pretty good. That was I'm pretty the best good. wizard, Jim. I am superior. My intelligence is massive. It went on too long because there's a little there's a little gap before she said my intelligence is massive and then died. <laughs> so but uh, I thought that made the clip not very good, but maybe I should maybe I should have used the longer one. This is not bad, is it, for that there, Phil? He's got this He's got this guy coming in now, so he's got like three versus three-ish. Uh, maybe he shouldn't have done that. Maybe he should have got this guy, like, you know, double GFI'd or something with this guy. I mean, maybe this guy could have been... Like, he wanted to tag him, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh man! <laughs> well, there you go. That's Blood Bowl being Blood Bowl. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so we wanted to tag him, didn't he? But I don't know. Maybe he's double geofying him to there, but then we've seen what happens when, when he attempts geofies. Uh, <laughs> double one. Guy cast. Defense somewhat compromised. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to uh, find out more about these boobies. <laughs> Good old Elliot. Those were the days, weren't they? Elliot streaming Blood Boy. Three Blood Bowl three days. Ah, oh, it's a long cooldown, isn't it? Slim Jim should have worked. Slim Jim's older, older than Elliot, isn't it? Oh, yeah! Oh, God. I love Blood Bowl. 
yeah. That's pretty good, isn't it, actually? <laughs> most of mine most of mine were just selling were just were just shouting C nut and fuck and stuff, so mine aren't quite as good as Why would somebody just play rats? <laughs> Even though he can't qualify. <laughs> If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Eh? Oh man, I really love the A at the end. Three turns? How have you been so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on a holiday and you Don't, and, don't like, go up the sidelines, surprises me. I would have gone up the sidelines. You decide more still. fucking rats. What the fuck? Why Is it to like layer against the beast? Rats? Jesus Christ. Is it so you can blitz the beast? The fucking clatter of the glasses. Yeah, you're gonna blitz the beast. Okay, so yeah, this takes. So if he went up here, the beast could like tag him, right? Whereas this way, he gets to knock down the beast, and now the beast cannot get near the ball. So even though it's added GFIs. At least he's taken away any threat of the beast. And that's it, I mean that's it, isn't it? There's the the Nurgle aren't stopping him now. Frustration re-rolling on turn 14, one nil down. Not even really trying to stop at this point, I guess. Because, like, you know, could it could have blitzed this guy and like stood in front of the cave and stuff? But I guess it's not gonna, it's not gonna work, is it? It's just not gonna work. I don't know how long the the countdown is, but it seems uh, seems to be a while. Eh? Well, now the beast can get on him. Oh no, it's just going to double GFI this turn, of course. This looked like he was making a cage. I think he was making a cage, and then realised the cage wasn't such a good idea. Should have GFI'd once here, right? This carrier should have GFI'd once. Um, by not GFIing here, he means he's going to do two on the last turn, the only one reroll. Also, if he double GFI'd, he'd been out of range of this guy. So he should have at least GFI'd once, and maybe you know, just done both. Right now. There you go, look, he's not out of range. Oh my god, and he falls the ball. <laughs> Oh dear me. Wow. I guess, oh now he can chain him forward, he's giving him a chain as well. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! Saved him a, uh, saved him a GFI there. Basically GG, isn't it? I guess he, so he got the he got the push that I would have done the GFI last turn, and but he got the he got the push wrong. But then if if he'd done the GFI last turn, and then another one, he wouldn't have been able to have been hit anyway, so I guess it swings and roundabouts in it. I'm pretty sure it was just correct to GFI. It's usually correct to roll to roll more dice. Ha <laughs> ha.
despite roll less dice being the uh, mantra of people trying to advise new players. Probably the best thing for people who aren't new is to roll more dice. <laughs> That's interesting. That that, uh, that pegs that there fill back a little bit in the race for third, and uh, you know maybe Chavitia can get his uh, get his act together a little bit and get into the top eight. Super interesting. Glorious 3D, love to see it. Did he still have a bribe at the end? Well, they both used bribes. I didn't recall either side eating their bribes, but they both used them, so that's nice. I know the Bribe Stadium favours Kemri generally, but um, also they've got 40k players, right? So, like, it's not always going to benefit them, and also it means they always take more damage. That's, that's my main problem that I've got with it. Even if it helps them win the games and inflict more damage, it doesn't mean they take more damage as well, doesn't it? But there you go. Um, Nice, kind of easy 2-0 win for Chavita there. Uh, I don't think either buddy, either player did anything wrong. Just, um, you know, nice wizard. Surprising wizard. Uh, obviously well-judged wizard. And uh, well played by both. Congrats, Chavita. Commiserations that there, Phil. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.